black man from ten below got accused of stabbing and killing his white girlfriend Samantha Lake and Iowa. what the police told him that she was going to be okay but she got he said that he saw her grab a knife and stab herself he had an all white jury for his trial based on sales internet posts and she was violent it's good that a man and true was in a bias juror and had a good reason to think that he was innocent him and another woman thought that he wasn't guilty but most of the jurors thought that he was guilty and true was arguing with the jurors about why he didn't want him to get convicted the judge monica at least wanted the jury to make a unanimous decision when andrew wrote a letter to the judge about why he can't agree that he's guilty he got removed from the jury the other woman changed her verdict from not guilty to guilty because of the conflict Fonte got found guilty of murder Then he got granted a second trial I don't understand why the judge Monica at least was able To be the judge of his trial again There should have been a different judge instead of the same judge There was an all white jury again so there was prejudice he got convicted of murder again. The judge was wrong for removing one of the jurors so that she can make a unanimous decision. The judge should get investigated and removed for being a bad judge. The police didn't do a good job at investigating Sam's murder. They immediately thought that the suspect Fonte did it. They say that he stabbed her, but his fingerprints were on the night that she got stabbed with. The medical examiner couldn't give a good explanation for why they thought that Sam had a fist of wounds. Sam had a lot of drugs in her system, like processing as cocaine and weed. Her and Fonte had an altercation. She was mentally ill and was supposed to take medications. She was intoxicated. Whether he committed the murder or not, the trial was unfair. He could be guilty, but he could be innocent because there's a lot of reasonable doubt.